39,000 years ago, a budding human being suffered a random genetic mutation. When an egg cell started to form an embryo, there was a DNA replication error. One gene mutated into another. This accident brought irreversible consequences for humanity. 40 millennia later, this gene would be known as what remains. A gene only remains and spreads if its owner is able to eliminate competitors. What remains is a cumulative genetic mutation. Its human replicators evolved into antisocial individuals with psychopathic traits clustered into small, covert communities. Until the gene manifested itself phenotypically. It was then that the great disaster began. Once it ended, technology was lost, violence increased, and the natural selection process accelerated. It was the dawn of a new dark age. But someone did survive. The colonies on the moon and Mars, and the space stations. Exiled mankind survived, recovering Earth technology through risky landings. Until a visionary, Den Aoyama, settled with her followers at a subterranean base on Santa Catalina Island. It contains the Techno Womb, where genetically enhanced humans are born. These are the soldiers of HOPE. The reconquest of Earth is their one and only goal. Consul, we from the Senate are surprised. This trip to the HOPE base on the island of Santa Catalina was not communicated to us. With the recent passing of Miss Aoyama and the subsequent elevation of Bodo Cantabroy, HOPE has become a military organization outside of Senate purview. None of our members are authorized to visit. Return immediately.
Welcome to HOPE, console. I am the Prometheus AI. I have been modified to guide you through the techno womb. In this sacred place, the new millets of our brotherhood are genetically designed and gestated. There are only 54 techno wombs, and we lack the technology and resources to create more. to care for the fetus during its growth, as well as for its immediate care once it leaves the techno womb. In the beginning, we wanted to create perfect humans, but we ended up losing an entire generation because their cell regeneration required too much energy. Another mistake was not inculcating any identity. The second generation had to be discarded for their lack of emotional control and psychotic episodes. Fortunately, we have learned from our mistakes. Go ahead, console, access the terminal and create a new life.
been an honor to have you in my eyes. Digger 4, this is 2. The radar tells me that you're next door. Why are you still over there? This is no time for dreaming, Digger 4. Get back with us. Negative, Digger 4. This is an open channel. Please focus. Find the HVT and meet me. We have a little time. Out two. Out one.
We can't waste time. We must get those data tablets before the pale sacks get here. Orders are to stay together. I'm the officer here. Ignore me again and we will have problems. Do not. Here I am not your lover. I am Digger 2 and you are Digger 4. I am your superior and we have our orders. You are strong and brave, but you are not ready. Your pater should not have brought you. Down here are deadly creatures. You will do what I tell you. Please, we must leave the personal issue out of this. If you continue down that path, this will not end well. We must hurry. BB will guard the door while I review my analysis. Search the rooms upstairs in this house. We've covered the block. This has to be the place. Our prize must be in here somewhere. The dogs may still be far away, but there is always danger. Hurry it up. We are looking for a data tablet in good condition. You should be able to spot it easily, even with all the garbage. One may be your pater, but he has not said anything about its content. However, given the risk we are taking, it must be very important. There's a closed door upstairs. It may be a good place to start. How I got to be assigned here? Why are you asking that question now? We have things to do, and fast. Cadvalon is a natural leader. Of all the groups of diggers, his is the one that takes the most risk. He is close to finding something important and I want to see what it is. Yes, he is a visionary and seems to have inside information. Well, I answered your question. It's time to move on. Get to it, then. Stop right there. <laughs> no, you don't. Our mission is in here. Step back. Stop right there. Step back.
Did you find it? It's very unusual to find computer equipment in such good condition. Good work. Let me examine it. Awesome. It still works. Fusion batteries are the best thing ever invented. But it seems that it is encrypted. Let me figure this out. We've learned a thing or two since this old thing was made. Here's a name. It looks like this tablet belonged to one Marcus Mueller, a big shot at Aztec, the European Space Research and Technology Center. Yes, it is his life's work. But what is this? Oh my god, this... Mueller. This is not good. Vish, you're starting to frighten me. What is it? If this is what Cadvalon was looking for, he had us fooled all this time. This is sacrilege, our destruction. It should be destroyed. Then destroy it. We'll tell him we didn't find anything. Maybe, but... Move Digger 4, and I'll shoot you. Two, we already know what to do with it. No, we follow orders as we were trained to do. This goes up the chain of command. Your pater is searching the building across the street. Take it to him. Those were our orders. But we were also told that if we found something important, we should alert the command center on the ISS. They are orders from above, and we have to follow procedure. But you go ahead. I know when your pater sees this, he will destroy it. I've never understood what Vish sees in you. And now whatever you've brought has upset her. This better go well, or you and your pother will have problems. Stop wasting time. Go.
Did you see the size of those dogs? We must leave as soon as possible. The Pale Sacks will attack soon, Ford. I didn't sign up to rummage through trash. But the recruiter hated me. That's how I end up assigned to the digger teams. I didn't sign up to rummage through trash. But the recruiter hated me. That's how I end up assigned to the digger teams. Every time I descend to Earth, I can't help but feel nostalgic. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, I was born before the Great Disaster, but I never knew this world. Uh, see, I grew up between walls built out of moon dust bricks and helium-3 processors converting to Lunar Regular. And yeah, I never felt... never felt so comfortable there. I only feel at home when I'm back here. They dominated this world, but they also polluted it. Eternal political squabbles prevented them from overcoming this threat, and eventually led to their destruction. That's the official history. It says that, before, they were like us. So they were able to take positions of power. When they finally felt threatened, they unleashed the nuclear apocalypse. Uh, that may be true, although things are never so simple. Anyway, I doubt we can ever know the whole truth. Well, don't let this old man talk too much. What did you want? Well, I suppose that's why Vishpala didn't say anything to me on the radio. Let me see what's got her scared. Ha! You see this? She is, without a doubt, the best Sysop I know. Decrypting this shouldn't have been so easy. Well, let's see what it says. Marcus Mueller. I knew it. He took refuge in his mother's house when the world fell apart. From Aztec. Yeah, yeah, I know all this. And here's some notes on the project. No, it can't be. Mueller, you may have been crazy, but you were a genius. This far exceeds what I expected. It's so exciting, so important, that I'm shaken with fear. I would never think of destroying this. My fear has nothing to do with what Vishpala may have discovered. I fear for what may happen to me. Above all, I fear for you. You know why we're here? Why we risk our lives more than others? You know why returning to Earth is our only option at this point? That's true, but it doesn't completely answer my question. We must return to Earth because it was the cradle of humankind. It's our home. Take a good look at these once proud buildings. Now, we live in dark times. Progress and ideas are viewed as threats, while freedom has been given up to ensure survival. So, this discovery will certainly redirect my life and yours, if not in them. Before she died, her mother made me promise that I would take care of you. She thought she was asking me for a favor. <laughs> but really, she gave me a gift. If our people don't return to Earth, it'll be our end. Today's a day that I put on your shoulders the weight that's burdened me. I'm very sorry. I want you to promise me that you'll follow my goal when I'm gone. This cause surpasses all others.
Yeah, fate will be unkind if you ever betray a promise made with blood. Now, we gotta worry about safeguarding this data tablet. Do you know who Din Aoyama is? Don't be taken in by the official propaganda. She was a top geneticist in the colonies. She had the courage to gather those who believed in her and recover an old scientific facility. I wouldn't have expected any less. Den Aoyama and her people are strong enough not to fear retaliation from the Senate and brave enough to know what to do with this data tablet. We must get it to her. Well, I'm in contact with her. I'm going to send her the coordinates to an extraction point where an HOPE transport will come to pick you and the data tablet up. It is of the utmost importance that you keep that data safe. I trust you. No, unfortunately. I, I need to speak to the rest of the team. We need them on our side. They gotta keep this secret. I'll return with them to the transport that's already coming for us. I'm so sorry to burden you with this responsibility. I love you. Someday, the sun will shine warmly again. On this earth. One, this is six. Eight contacts approach, 300 meters northwest. Appear to be armed. They must be from the Colonial Transport we saw five minutes ago. Orders? The Transport? Here? With a full squad? That makes no sense! Digger! Hold your defensive positions! They may be hostile! Sir, all channels are open. Now they're deploying to attack. Digger 6, Digger 2, hold your weapons. They are friendlies. They have come to pick up what we found. Two, what have you done? Belay that order, Digger! Weapons free! Shit! One, they outnumber us. We'll need support. Six out. They were fast. Listen to me well. Avoid getting killed and go to that Hope Transport now. Good luck. Every time I descend to Earth, I can't help but feel nostalgic. It doesn't make sense. Just... I'm... That... Uh, that... Well, I... Ha! Mark it for me. That's true, but it doesn't completely... Now...
No. One, this is the tr sir. Digger. Two, one. Stop! What are you doing here? Would you happen to have something to do with the ship that just landed on the roof? I don't like it. Something's not right, but... 
I won't question your orders. Now get out of my sight! Talk to Hope 79, Rat. You match the description they gave me. You sure don't look like much, but you must have something important if they sent me to find you. Hope 79 of the second generation. My partner there is Hope 82. That's me. The most handsome guy of the entire second generation. We'd better get going as soon as possible. What you hear in the background is the howling of the pale sax dogs. They've learned to be patient with their prey. They gather and prepare, and when they're ready, they'll use the dogs as a vanguard. Their dogs are large and have teeth like knives. You can take a full magazine to down them. Then come the Pale Sacks. They're strong, very fast and deadly. They were the world's top predator, until we emerged. You humans are lucky that Denai Ayama restarted the techno room and created H.O.P. You don't deserve it. Okay, are we going? Alright, but before we get going, I want to see what's so important. So, what do we have here? Impressive. This data tablet is cursed. It has information that can either change everything or destroy us all. By bringing this to HOPE, you've invited your enemies to destroy us. They won't need any more excuses. Anything necessary, but this is how we'll start. We'll get on the transport, and we'll talk about our common enemies. I believe that the two of us can come to an agreement. It'll give us an advantage. Din Ayayama will see the wisdom in that. Sorry to interrupt your conspiring, Sekator, but we should go right away. Down there, they're about to kill each other, and the Pale Sacks will be quick to take advantage. Come here and see for yourself. I'll let you use my binoculars. As Sekator said, the data is cursed. It's about to take its first categories. Go with him, but hurry it up. We leave in two. Look down there, Rat. They've been arguing for a while now. They all look very agitated, except the old man. He seems to be trying to calm things down. With humans, emotion always wins. If someone loses their temper, there will be a fatal shooting. This is not going to end well. You're not going anywhere, rat! My mission is to ship you alive. 
You can thank Denayayama when we get back. Let's go. Your creators will be pleased with your recovery, Hope 279. Everything indicated that you are not going to survive your birth. My name is Prometheus, the AI that will guide you through your first steps outside the techno womb. I know. Your brush with death activated cellular memories that actually belong to the main person whose template was used on you. It should not happen again until you die. Nothing to worry about. Everything is fine now. Leaving the techno womb is always a traumatic process, but was worse in your case. It is the artificial uterus in which you have spent the last four years growing by an accelerated process and learning by simulation. You must be hungry and thirsty, but before continuing, please read the messages on your terminal. You have a message from Bodo Canabroy, the first brother, our magister. Then, when you leave, you will enter a lounge containing food and drink. You may be interested to know that the apples there are from Mars. Most of the memories you are loaded with during your long gestation are about Earth and its golden age. At the beginning of the 21st century, it was all part of a simulation to give you memories. However, towards the end you were loaded with information about how the world has changed since then. We know that you need time for the newer neural pathways to connect. Eating and drinking will reduce the hunger and thirst bars in the lower left corner of your curb's display. When you have finished in the lounge, go down the hall through the green door.
password, please. Status updated. Hello. You must be Hope 279. You took a long time to wake up, so I'm glad you're okay. Prometheus estimated your chances at 25%. I would not mention too often that you have a name. It will bring you problems. Look, in fact, I think because of it, you were born at a disadvantage. From the little I know, we are all born with the number code and must earn a name later. My advice is to follow the tradition, but do what you want. I guess I would also like to remember the name I had in my memories. Well, my fake memories. At times, I think all this is a dream. But then I wake up in these facilities again. But, if you think about it, we were already preparing for this at the end of our stay in the techno womb. Well, how may I help you? Go ahead. What do you want to talk about? I was also alarmed the first time I saw it. But it turns out that it's a side effect from the substances for accelerated growth that we were injected with. I guess it's a birthmark common to HOPE soldiers. I asked myself the same thing, and Prometheus was very kind to explain it to me. You should talk more with the AI. We are not yet full brothers, since we're in training. It's for this reason that we wear a light-colored uniform and the prospect label. It all depends on whether we are discarded or not. The good news is that we're designed to be soldiers, so only 1% don't pass the training at the ISS. Afterwards, we will join a team and become rookies. Which doesn't sound particularly good, either. What do you want to talk about? You should listen to Prometheus more. This is the Kerbit, 
a kind of computer that gives you information about yourself and the world around you, as well as serving as a communicator. Before you go, there is something that I need from you. Look, in this place, we are constantly being observed. Not only is it a site for basic training, but it's also an examination. Yes, I guess so. But I suppose they're necessary measures after what happened with the second generation. Most of the Prometheus entries on this are classified, but the information I was able to obtain spoke about a lost generation. All of them ended up discarded. It was after that debacle that they began to implement fake memories in the techno womb. Now we are less perfect, but more human, and more emotionally stable, which I'm pleased with. I would like to know more, but our level of access is very low. I think I may have been assigned a special test. In my room, there's a locker that contains something important, but I have to enter a code. I've searched everywhere, but have found nothing. Thank you. I'll continue searching as well. I just hope that those that are watching are not playing some kind of joke on me. Well, see you around. Good luck. Pakthum <laughs> said.